should Jews be worried about the rise of the Black Hebrew Israelites? The Black Hebrew Israelites, a fringe religion, once made once again made its headlines in the United States at the end of 2022. The group is composed of different sects, which essentially agree that African Americans are the direct descendants of the biblical Israelites. In the latest viral video, the group was marching in support of Kyrie Irving, who was returning from an eight-game suspension by the NBA Brooklyn Nets. Irving received his suspension after posting a link to a documentary by Hebrew Israelite, which is perceived as anti-Semitic. The documentary exposes, quote unquote, that Blacks or African Americans are the true biblical descendants and that the people who call themselves Jew to, Jews today are imposters. Some more extreme sects depict light-skinned people as, quote unquote, agents of Satan and are unabashedly homophobic and misogynistic. The Southern Poverty Law Center has identified 144 chapters of the Black Hebrew Israelites on its annual hate group list. According to the director of uh, the Law Center's Intelligence Project, uh, Heidi Burich, quote, this is a movement that has been growing pretty rapidly in the last three or four years, largely in reaction to Trump and white nationalism. The Black Hebrew Israelites have, been, have used these developments to recruit into their movement. No reliable polling exists to determine how many members there are, but some sources estimate that there are well over a million Black Hebrew Israelites in the United States. So I wanted, oh my God. So Dee actually brought this news to my attention and she she wrote our summary for this for the website. And she said, I watched the three hour documentary. It was crazy propaganda nonsense. Okay, now I actually want to go watch it. Me too. I've heard about it. It's called, I don't know if I can say this word out loud. It's not a- Spell it. Okay, it's um, it. And the name of the documentary is "From Israelites to N E G R O E S." Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's not like it, it, you know. It just doesn't sound really? good when I say that word. Okay, <laughs> um, I would prefer not to say that word. Um, so this. I mean, so we actually, Armin, a few years ago, we interviewed a former Black Hebrew Israelite. So you guys can check out that video. It was me, Armin, our former host, Jewish co-host, ex-Jewish co-host, Rivka, and um, our friend, San Miguel. You can find his YouTube channel at San, San, Miguel. Miguel, San Miguel TV. And um, this is very interesting to me because I was fascinated with the Black Hebrew Israelites a few years ago. And so it's very striking for me to see them come back into prominence again one because of the Kyrie Irving situation thank you D for giving us the name but redacted oh, Mustafa is saying I'm making popcorn already <laughs> <laughs> um the black Hebrew Israelite ideology has been seeping into pop culture more and more and it's really concerning to me because we've seen how Kanye West has like gone off the deep end that's an understatement and also just to dismiss it as the deep end is a way like i don't know dismiss of itself or diminishing it um and but then we also see references to bhi ideology and kendrick lamar's lyrics and you know kanye is saying i can't be anti-semitic because i'm a semite which is like the textbook textbook bhi like slogan they have all these like little clips for different things that people say against them and um they have gotten more attention over the past few years because there's been a few incidents where bhi members have actually gone and done extremist acts of violence and killed many jewish people um and um it's really it's really concerning a few years ago um, when I started to learn about street epistemology, I would go downtown and I would go talk to the Black Hebrew Israelites. And I would stand on the street corner and talk to these guys for hours, just trying to understand what's going on. And I, go ahead. I argued with um, a group of them in LA. It was very intimidating. And what I was what is was bizarre to me is that their insistence like actually i ran into them twice in la okay 
okay? And two different groups, and they were very insist insistent on knowing my ethnic background before they talked to me. Yes. They were like, no, like, let, no, let's talk. Like they were they were refusing to talk to me because before they understood my ethnic background. I'm like, why were they so obsessed with that? And eventually I, when I, I told that. them, and eventually when I told them, okay, they weren't this, this was not a back and forth discussion, okay? They started giving me a lecture about my position in their ideology based on my ethnic background. I told them like, okay, I'm Persian, okay? And they were like, okay, let me explain to you. And basically the summary of that was, I will be with their slave at, very soon. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that like, I will become, as a Persian, one, I will be I will be their slave very, and in a very, not very distant future. And yeah, so, yeah. But yeah, tell me, why why are you so obsessed with, uh, with my ethnicity? So a corner, okay. Um, in BHI universe, they, they're different sects, and the different sects are referred to as camps. So some of the camps have different beliefs that may not apply to the other camps. So I'm just going to talk about the camps that what, what I have heard to the camps that I have interacted with. And what is hilarious is that if you talk, there will be two groups of Black Hebrew Israelites on different street corners, like screaming obscenities at passersby. And if you go ask one group, well, what do you think of that other group over there? They will swear that both of them they're like no i'm the true one they're the fake ones they're gonna go to hell we're the real ones don't listen to those guys <laughs> um oh wow yeah 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 so there's like there's like tons of in rivalry but the whole reason is that according to their ideology or the ones that i've interacted with um basically the only true people of god are going to be the people that survived the transatlantic slave trade the descendants of those people. That is their genesis. That's basically their new genesis story, isn't it? Yes, actually, if you think about like the history and kind of like psychology of a people that were uprooted through slavery and they don't have a history of they lost their personal history and ancestry in a way it makes sense that they would latch on to a book that's presented to them and be like hey actually there's a lot of similarities between this story and the bible and my story like, what if this actually was my story what if this actually explains why my people are persecuted why we're struggling da, 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 da. but the people that i have interacted with i swear to god are the most racist people i have ever talked to in my life and i'm not just talking about like oh they're anti-white racist they're the most virulent foaming at the mouth anti-jewish people i've ever heard in my life the stuff that they say i i would be nuked off of youtube before i would leave my mouth if i told you guys on youtube what they say to me okay <laughs> youtube wouldn't even let me get it out of my mouth but um uh and now by the way this this, this was growing or other black people yes this is yes, yes. hardcore Yes. The stuff they say about black women. I was like, I haven't even heard a white nationalist to say this. This is obscene. Okay. Um, so in one else, this was already a growing movement, but it has now accelerated because of ye or Kanye. It's yay. Which one do we say? Yay or ye? He goes okay. by yay now. <laughs> Yay. Yee, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a name is that? Y E. Why did he pick that name? Well, yeah, because it's just Yay is short for Kanye. Oh. Duh. Was it too hot? I didn't know that. I don't follow celebrities, okay? But why why is it too hard to say con? Don't ask questions when it comes to Kanye. Oh, okay. okay. Just don't like, ask. Oh Kanye. So. Oh no, so uh, that's so tiring. E, e, e. <laughs> yay. Okay. But yay is even more stupid. Like, yay. Um, okay. But this man has um, single handedly made because people are, people are not interested. Here's the thing. Okay. A lot of us atheists are wrong about how people operate when it comes to their belief system. Okay. Because we're like, Oh, this is not true. So why believe in it? Okay. Well, you misunderstand the function 
the utility that believing in things has for people. Okay. People don't necessarily believe in things because they, they want to believe in things that are true. People believe in things because they want to be associated with a group. Okay. That's uh, the belief is a membership card. Okay. So when um, Kanye comes and says that this is, this believes in this and a major one of the world's greatest celebrities endorses such an ideology and people want to be like it's just it's now becomes cool to believe in it so and again this is a religion that is more racist than any other religion that i can i mean judaism was already a very racist religion okay more racist than christianity and islam okay but now they have taken one of the most racist religions in the world and they have made it even more racist, okay? But it's and even, not even really approximate to real Judaism. Some of them actually go on to convert to Judaism and that's like not usually kosher, so to speak. But, no, um, but it, has, it has the foundations to have uh, that ideology of racial supremacy, of a cho God choosing people, his favorite people based on their ethnicity. But most That's of them the claim to the King's James Bible above all. Not all of them, but most. I understand that, but that whole we are the chosen people, so we special, you be our slaves, that comes from Judaism. Okay? And it, it's, it's ironic because they're using that racist religion that to be racist against the people who that religion has picked as the superior people, which is so bizarre. Um, well, they say, you know, one of their, this is the classic black Hebrew Israelite line is they're saying, well, we're not Jewish. We're Israelite. And you're like, well, what about the people that we call Jewish? And they're like, see, this is the trick. The Jew ish. Right. Get it. And I'm like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Here's the thing. Let me tell you how similar it is. I was only twice told in my life that I will become a slave. Okay. Okay. One time it was in LA. The other time it was in Jerusalem. Okay. One time was by black Hebrew Israelites in LA. The other time was by an Orthodox Jewish person in Israel. And the only difference was the, the one in Israel, the, by the Jewish person, the ultra Orthodox Jewish person. He was nice about it. He was like, "You're gonna be our slave, but you will like you. Will be, you it would be good. You would like it. You would be. It, we will treat you nicely. Don't worry. <laughs> you would be. You, you would enjoy. You would be. It would be so nice. It would be. You, your slavery to us would be even nicer than you have the life they have right now. Okay. But the black Hebrew Israelites, when they told me they were, I was gonna be a slave, they were like, "We're gonna. You're gonna." It's going to be hard. It's going to be bad. We're going to oh punish. I mean, I was like, you know, little Susanna downtown. There's like, you know, these huge six foot tall dudes, several hundred pounds. And they're like talking to me. I'm like, yeah, so what's going to happen when the end of times comes? And they're like, well, you're going to be our slave and we are going to R.A.P.E. you. And then when you have our babies, we're going to bash their heads against rocks. Just like saying this to me, like in public. And I'm just standing there. I'm like, I'm just talking. I actually didn't feel threatened at all. I'm just like, oh, OK interesting you really believe that huh <laughs> you were being told by these people that they're going to r-a-p-e-u as their s-e-x slave yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay amazing yeah 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 and i'm just like yeah. okay cool so i'll see you next week because i still want to talk to you more <laughs> <laughs> wow amazing um yeah d is why would they been argued with them downtown in my city it's, but why it's would they why would they bash the heads of their own baby? Like they would R A P E U, so they you will have their babies. So why would they bash the heads of their own babies against the rock? I can't remember. Oh. I can't remember because uh, what's also important to them is the patrilineal heritage. They don't care about matrilineal lineage, which is different than actual Judaism. But um, yeah, it, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. And if if they're actual biblical scholars, they go through their tenets. They're like, this is. A complete misreading of like all this stuff everything but guys if you're interested in this go check out san miguel tv because he debates black hebrew israelites and he's very well researched and debunks all of their claims and he you know survived that cult they are a legit cult um 
and he's a friend of the show so go check him out okay so apparently <laughs> throwing on head and saying little susanna merch opportunity <laughs> <laughs> Something I don't remember saying. I have been told that a few times. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you know, it's a very common thing. That's like, yeah, you will be our slave. We will RAPE you, and you will have our babies and bash their heads against the walls. Yeah, it's just a normal thing to hear every day. What girl well, on a casual Saturday? That, <laughs> I was literally how I used to go spend my Saturdays because I'm Anyways. a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.